you see white patches on your skin and immediately think vitiligo. But here's the shock. Most of the time, it isn't. It's a fungal condition called pityriasis vesicular. Yet almost everyone misdiagnoses it and applies the wrong creams. I'm going to show you the three clinical signs that differentiate pityriasis vesicular from vitiligo, the science behind it, and the exact treatment that works. And the third sign, people completely overlook it. It's why topical steroids tend to fail. If you've been stressing over white spots, stay right here. It can save you years of frustration. I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan, a medically qualified doctor and a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every YouTube video. So when you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can come and ask me your skincare questions. It also means you get to join our YouTube community for free. It means you get to talk to each other, you get to upload photos and ask each other skincare questions. I can't wait to see you there. Sign one, subtle scaling. The common belief is that white patches equals smooth, depigmented skin-like vitiligo. The shocking twist is that pityriasis vesicular often has a fine, almost invisible scaling, which is missed by the naked eye. This is caused by something called malassezia yeast, which interferes with melanin production locally. This produces azelaic acid and lipoperoxidases, which leads to light hypopigmentation. And the scaling is due to disrupted stratum corneum, not melanocyte loss. The stratum corneum is a top layer of skin. So think of it like a thin dusting on a wall. It's subtle, easy to miss, but clinically significant. So how do you spot this at home? Gently scrape the area, and the scales often appear after sweating or in humid areas, such as the chest, the back, the upper arms, and the face. So if your white patches have even the slightest flakiness, that's your first clue. It's fungal, not autoimmune. The second sign is color variation in that white spot, not total depigmentation of the area. The common belief is that vitiligo is pure white and pityriasis vesicular is also white. The twist is pityriasis vesicular patches are actually tan, pink, or slightly hypopigmented, depending on the person's base skin color. So the way it works is that malassezia interferes with the tyrosinase activity, reducing melanin production. But the melanocyte, the cell itself, remains intact, and that is critical. Patches may darken with sun exposure, unlike vitiligo, where depigmentation worsens. So how do you test for this? Sun exposed briefly, and the fungal patches may tan slightly. What we do in clinic is something called a woods lamp. So the malassezia fluoresces yellow gold, whereas with vitiligo, it fluoresces bright blue or white. If your patches change with sun or appear faintly golden under UV, it's a fungal signature, not an autoimmune destruction. Sign three is how it responds to treatment. Is it resistant to steroids? The common belief is that all white patches need steroid creams, like a vitiligo treatment. But topical corticosteroids often worsen pityriasis vesicular by altering local immunity, allowing yeast overgrowth. So yes, steroids will reduce inflammation, but it suppresses your local T cell response. That's your immune cell response. Yeast proliferates, patches persist, or even expand. So topical corticosteroid monotherapy, i.e. steroid creams, are ineffective for malassezia-induced hypopigmentation. So the correct treatment are topical azoles, such as ketoconazole or clotrimazole. So you can, for example, use ketoconazole shampoo on the area, which you can buy in a drugstore over the counter. The other thing you can use is selenium sulfide shampoo as a body wash. If it's severe or recurrent, you could use orals, such as oral flucon or itraconazole, but that's really in a rare case. So if your vitiligo cream hasn't worked, don't panic. You've been treating the wrong condition all along. It's important to note that vitiligo creams and shampoos can take a long time to see results, so don't panic. You're also going to notice that it tends to get worse in the summer and better in the winter. This is why you see a lot of children of color with white patches on the cheeks, because they've been sweating and they're tanning. So they're tanning around the slightly hypopigmented areas, making it look worse. So here we've got a table of vitiligo versus pityriasis vesicular. So you can pause this and screenshot it. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to watch the next video.